Welcome to this week's edition of the Great American Conference Football Show. With a look back at last week and a preview of this week, here's your host, Michael Westbrook. Henderson State rolled to victory against East Central 34-7 in Ada in Week 2. With the game in hand, the Reddies added their final score of the night with 6.33 to play in the fourth. And off, Jaquan Cole tries the left side. He's over the 30, first down, stays on his feet, broke a tackle to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Reddy! Bill Elson on the call. The Reddies' Sam Johnson was named co-defensive player of the week. Henderson takes on Northwestern this week. Southeastern picked up its first win of the season with a 45-38 victory over Washita Baptist. A 24-point second quarter for the Savage storm started with a big play from Cayman Farmer. Third and seven facing southeastern as they now travel south to north trailing ten to nothing. Four watts snap back to Cantwell. Looking over the hill. Heaves it deep. Has a man. It's Farmer. It's caught at the 25 to the 15. 10 5. Touchdown southeastern. And you can throw in a flag on top of it as Farmer was held at the 35 still broke free and to the house. Jay Lindley on the call. Farmer was named GAC offensive player of the week. Southeastern now takes on Oklahoma Baptist. And speaking of Oklahoma Baptist, the Bison defeated Arkansas Tech 19-15. Charles Taylor had a great defensive game, and Todd Miller tells you all about it. Two and a half minutes to go. Can the Bison defense make one more play? They lead by six and never trail this afternoon. Pistol yes. formation. Reister fakes the handoff. Rolling right towards the end zone. It's intercepted. It's intercepted in the end zone. Brought out now and tackled at the five yard line. Why did he bring it out? It's picked off by Charles Taylor. I'm telling you, there better be a very good defensive performance in the conference this week to take Charles Taylor off Defensive Player of the Week honor. Taylor was indeed named Co-Defensive Player of the Week. It was the first win of the season for Oklahoma Baptist, who never trailed in the contest. Southern Arkansas defeated Northwestern in its first home game of the season, 33-14, to move to 2-0. GAC Special Teams Player of the Week Bradford Grimms was a big part of the SAU win. Here's his fourth field goal make on the Mule Rider Sports Network. Spotted at the 23-yard line, so this will be a 40-yard attempt for Bradford Grimms. He already has two over 40 and one almost 40, and this one would be right at 40 yards. Jaden Parrish the snapper. Jared Brown is the holder. Bradford Grimms is the kicker. Here's the snap. Here's the kick from Bradford Grimms. Plenty of distance, and it is through the uprights. Number four for Bradford Grimm. Dan Gregory on the call. SAU takes on Harding this week. Harding was also a winner in week two by a 63-7 margin over Southern Nazarene. The first touchdown of the game for Harding occurred less than four minutes into the contest. Kelly is the slide back to the right. Day through the wide out to the right side. So we're ready here on third down and a couple at the 10-yard line. Perry's going to keep. Park will carry it forward. First down. He's inside the five-yard line. Touchdown. Harding. Billy Morgan on the call. Harding also recorded a 28-point third quarter. Southern Nazarene's next opponent will be East Central. Arkansas Monticello won 35-28 against Southwestern. It was a five-point game halfway through the fourth quarter when Monticello picked up two more on a safety. Day stays in at the running back. Evans sends a tight end in motion. Low snap goes through his leg into the end zone and he'll have to fall on it in the end zone for a safety. Jimmy Sledge on the call. Monticello will play Arkansas Tech this week, while Southwestern will take on Washita. That's the GAC Rewind. I'm Michael Westbrook. Join me again next week on this station and online at greatamericanconference.com. Greatamericanconference.com is your home for scores, stats, and standings. For additional information, follow on Twitter at GAC Athletics. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Great American Conference.